China is sending 500 infantry to South Sudan to support the peace process there. In the broader term, where else the African Union wants China to assist the African continent in the peace and security sector? We are now going beyond just a bilateral traditional relationship to some of the areas, including peacekeeping. We have engaged China on um, peacekeeping operations and, and China has also indicated its willingness and capacity to assist. China has actually assisted the African Union, even the peacekeeping mission in, in, in Somalia. So really, coming to South Sudan is quite, it's not something quite new, but it is really part of, part of the broader cooperation and engagement between Africa Union and China. It's unusual of China to deeply involve in the peace and security issues of Africa. What does that tell you? China has accompanied Africa for a long time on the matters of Africa trying to uh, you know, gain either economic independence or address certain challenges. I mean, if you look at China, when we were trying to fight against apartheid, China came to Africa and supported African countries, for instance, to do the, 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 the Tazara Rail. That was to try and, and assist African countries to address the issue from an economic point of view. China has been giving us support in the case of uh, Somalia. So there is a steady, of course, expansion of cooperation between China and Africa. It perhaps may look uh, new, but one wouldn't, if, if you've been following the strategic relationship between China and Africa, it's not quite new. And, and, and I think this is really, we probably would be seeing much more engagement between China and Africa because of the enhanced relationship that I mentioned earlier.